I'm joined now with Chairman Derek Pope. Happy birthday, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very and much, also sir. CEO Stuart Munro. Stuart, can you give us an update of uh, the happenings here at the football club in the last 24 hours? We had a friend to friend chat, not a CEO to managers chat. And, and Paul basically said that it was time that we brought the Jamie Collins decision forward. He felt it was the timing was right for Jamie, for the football club, for Paul, and for us. Um, I then spoke to Derek, and the three of us had a meeting. And uh, this is a very positive move for the football club. Um, you don't bring somebody like Jamie Collins in to this football club two years ago and uh, not with a plan. And all we've really done is bring that forward in March from May or June this year. So we're very pleased that Paul has agreed to stay on as sporting director or director of football, sorry. And one of Jamie's conditions was is that Paul was still around the football club to support and help him in his new role. So the new role that's coming in for Paul is obviously director of football and Jamie has been quite vocal on the fact that he would wishes Paul to remain. Do you see that um, having a cohesive unit for the management team which will then lead onto the pitch for the playing staff? If you've got Jamie Collins, Ian Baird will still remain as assistant and Paul as director of football, we wouldn't want for a better team as a chairman and a CEO. And the five of us have sat down this morning, we've agreed roles and responsibilities and as I said earlier, it's a very positive move for the football club um, with that experience that's in-house. So yeah, I do see it as a positive for Jamie and a, a, a very uh, proactive approach from the football club. Cool. And and Derek, looking forward to the remainder of the season, obviously clear that the club wants to progress as much as, as possible. Still the target that we're looking towards the yeah, playoffs. It's always been our target and hopefully now we can push on and, and uh, get to where we want to be. It does give us a great start. Now we've got to finish it off. and you know We can't say no more than that really, can we? You know We've missed that, promo that promotion that one only promotion spot after a bit of a bad spell, but we're still in the running, so I think we've, we will have a good chance of that. And what message would you both have for our supporters um, moving forward? Maybe a fresh update, maybe something that we're looking forward to the last 11, 11, week, 11 games, sorry. I, I, well, first of all, I'd like to thank Paul for the four years yeah. that he has been the gaffer of this football club yeah. because he's made a huge difference. He's worked very closely with Derek and I on many projects at the football club. I think we all probably agree that in that first year he probably would have got promoted, if not for COVID. And um, he leaves a great team, a good spirit in the football club. So for our fans, we say it's business as normal. Uh, we've got a club legend in Jamie Collins as manager now. Um, and we're all guns blazing for a good playoff place starting tomorrow at Dulwich. We're looking forward to their support. I see it as a good positive step for everybody within the football club, including our supporters. Fantastic. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Um, we hope, obviously, for that final push towards promotion. And on behalf of all the staff here, and I suppose all of the supporters, thank you for your efforts again this season. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.